Hey guys, it's Joey, and today it's time. All right, guys, just kidding. Um, you know, I thought about it, and I just don't think the time is right to open up that can yet. So today I just wanted to do a uh, general update on the system, all the different uh, equipment I'm running on it, stuff that I've added uh, in the tank. You can see someone new. And then some changes that I've made to the stands, which you may or may not have caught on to already. So let's go ahead and let's first talk about the stand. So this is a custom stand that I built out of plywood. You can go back and uh, check out my video. The stand was made entirely out of three quarter inch uh, maple plywood. And then uh, the whole idea was to wrap the stand eventually in the same stone as my fireplace, which is right over here next to the banana. So uh, for the past couple months, it's just been bare, just the plywood by itself. People keep asking me, why does it look like that? Because no one has any kind of imagination, apparently. So finally wrapped the stand. So here we are. This is what the stand looks like now. And you can see this is a perfect shot as you look into the living room. You can see that it matches the, the fireplace perfectly. Now what I still need to do on this side is I still need to finish off the, uh, the doors. And I'm just finishing up, there's a, let's get in closer here. So I need to still attach this uh, trim on here. What that serves to do is it uh, will hide these rough edges. So it'll make it look a lot cleaner. So I just need to go through and uh, just make sure everything's flush, like on uh, this piece right here. If we kind of look down, you can see it's not really flush. Um, it's kind of sticking out a little bit. So I need to do that and then I can measure accurately for the doors and then put in the doors. What I've done as well, I got some quartz countertops to put on there. This is iced white quartz countertop. So it has a little bit of speckles. Um, you know, it's a little bit extra just like me and that's the way I like it. Here we go. Went ahead and put on the filter just so we can get a, a little bit of better perspective of the color. It's just going to come out a little bit orange, but let's back up so you can get a view of the tank, kind of orange, orange-ish. So there we go. So that is a huge update there. It looks absolutely amazing. And uh, now the only thing I have to put up with is people asking me, uh, when are you going to put on doors? So that's cool. As far as the tank, those of you who don't know, this is a 230 gallon peninsula style planet aquarium tank. Uh, this is a custom build, of course, by Planet Aquariums. It features uh, a kind of a Euro brace hybrid here uh, where it has a little bit of the Euro bracing, but then it has these center braces in between. Uh, but those are clear glass, so there's no worry about any light being blocked coming through. It has the external overflow, and then that comes to the back of the tank uh, where it has uh, three drain lines, and uh, I'll go ahead and get into that in a little bit. So let's talk about some of the other equipment uh, in the tank. Right here, you have the Tunzi uh, Care Magnet with my modification. And uh, this is a really cool modification, so you should go and pay attention to it and watch my video. I thought it was real cool and uh, no one watched the video. Two Gyre 250s. These run at uh, random. I have this end on at 90% and then the other end on at 60%. So as far as equipment, that's all there is inside the tank. Up here, above, I'm not running a canopy. I actually run a, a 80-20 uh, beam instead. And 
I had the 8020 ordered and then I installed this myself and that is attached to uh, the stand and it is definitely over engineered. I engineered it for about 60 pounds accounting for an end loaded weight. So this could support 60 pounds and loaded with zero deflection. And that's the results that I'm getting. Uh, this is two points spread out of about 40, 45 pounds, maybe 50. And uh, with that, with those two points uh, supporting the weight, uh, there's, there's no deflection at all. Actually lighting the tank, is an ATI eight bulb uh, fixture. There's also two SB reef bars. As far as the bulbs that I'm running, you can kind of see a little bit of the colors here. Uh, so I'm running four uh, atenic blues and then two, uh, what is it, super, super atenic, something like that. And then there is one purple one, I think, and then one like a daylight or azure blue, something like that. Um, I forgot the colors. And this is kind of the view down the peninsula side. Those of you uh, may remember, I kind of had a little like uh, ghetto-ish type mushroom box here with the PVC uh, piece attached to it. Hey girl. Uh, I went ahead and replaced that with a slightly less ghetto looking mushroom box. I have a smaller version right here as well. Unfortunately, the gobies actually went ahead and they completely buried it. So my interstellar mushroom, the big one, it uh, started floating around the tank. So it could be anywhere now. So moving over to uh, this side of the tank, I got a little bit of a mess going on on the countertop here. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I was working on some cable management this weekend, which ended up being a, a major fail because the cables that I got, they're not long enough. I'll show you that here. I was gonna go ahead and do like a, a, a conduit, uh, you know, and, and run it all the way up, but uh, that just wasn't working out. So I decided to do the method with the um, Velcro strips here and uh, I just ran out of cable length. So right now, uh, they're not even running all the way where I need them to. I still need to run them like up against there and then around and then through the side of the electrical panel here. But you can see it's just a bunch of crap. But anyways, let me take off the filter. At least forget to do that. Aside from the uh, wire management issue uh, that's going on here, uh, let me go ahead and follow the flow down uh, the returns here. Uh, so you have a uh, three return lines, uh, one open siphon, or sorry, one full siphon, one open channel, and one emergency. Now, someone in one of my videos in the comments said, hey, why, why do you have valves on the other two lines? And you are 100% correct. I never even thought twice about it. Really, you only need the uh, the valve on the full siphon so you can adjust it. The open channel in the emergency stay open all the time. So really, that's just a waste of like $20 there. But I guess it looks cool, right? That's all that matters. So that flows down. There's a filter pad, nothing special there. And then I'm running the uh, undersized for this. This is on my old tank. Um, it's the Skims SM161 skimmer. There's also a 18 watt uh, UV sterilizer right there. Uh, that needs to get permanently mounted up there as well. We'll see how that ends up fitting. Uh, and then we have just a bunch of media that I threw together in here and also a uh, sponge. And then uh, this all gets returned back up to the tank by my Varios Reef Octopus Varios 8. Uh, pump running at about 80 percent and can't forget uh, running carbon in the BRS reactor uh, I have no idea why I ever got a, a dual chamber one I think when I first started I just figured you know maybe I'd do GFO in the future but GFO sucks so I have no intentions of ever running it so really I just needed the one I switched recently from the uh, ROX carbon, the real 
kind of fine stuff to uh, the bigger large particle carbon because uh, I was just reading some stuff that uh, the other ROX stuff is just um, a little aggressive for SPS, something along those lines. Anyways, I think that really takes care of it for the sump. Uh, the sump, you can watch my video on that, Emerald uh, 39 uh, sump. The auto top off container, I have the Tunzi uh, auto top off system. This is a 20 gallon reservoir. This will also be going away. Uh, I'm going to be building a uh, bench right here, right by this banana. And then uh, the bench will open and close so I can hide that auto top off container in there. What I was also thinking about is, you know, since that will be hidden, right now I can see it. I can visually see, okay, the water level's right there. So I know when I need to fill it. But I'm probably going to need to put a float switch in there since I won't be able to see it. And I'm most likely going to forget it, forget about it. Kind of out of sight, out of mind type deal. So I'll need to fix that. And I'll just real quick show you kind of the rat's nest that's going on. Uh, right now I have a dosing pump and I'll touch on that in a second. Um, I have the Apex Classic and then this is uh, two EB-8 bars. And then you of course have the gyre controller and the reef octopus controller. This is my Fido setup. Uh, I've been neglecting it very much. You have Fido over here, pods right here. Uh, I need to restart this. I've just been lazy. So, no big deal there. I have my video on how to do it properly and how to not be lazy. I have this little guy right here where it puts out a nice reflection so you can see my ugly face. You can go into here and then I can control stuff if my you know phone is across the room or something and then I don't need to move very far so that's good because I'm fat so as far as equipment goes that's really all there is I don't think I'm forgetting anything in terms of uh, equipment um, one thing I wanted to mention on on that dosing uh, pump note is that I just put in an order for a calcium reactor uh, going with a Tunzi calcium reactor uh, and then the Kimura continuous duty dosing pump and then the, uh, the electronic carbon doser uh, set up as well. So um, it's pretty expensive to start it up, but I, I know I'm going to be really happy once I get that set up. So uh, look out for that video in the near future of me uh, getting that and then uh, just kind of taking you guys through installing it. And uh, I've never had a calcium reactor before, so I think I'm going to do two videos on that where I you know kind of walk you guys through the initial getting everything you know unboxing everything and then just starting to set it up and just kind of working my way through and seeing you know hey this this does this this does that and and so you can kind of see you know what someone who's never had it uh, kind of really goes through right and then I'll probably do a polished video on how to actually uh, set them up uh, once I actually get it right uh, I can't show someone how to do something right if I don't know how to do it myself. So that is something to look forward to in the future. Now, on to the tank update and the inhabitants in there. As you've already seen, I have a new fish in the tank and he's kind of washed out by uh, the filter on here. Uh, so he's gonna look a little bit more orange or kind of pink on here, but he's uh, pretty red. So this is called a Magma Fairy Rass. This guy is, is absolutely beautiful. So he's a great addition to the tank. And then of course, uh, I guess just going through all my fish, you have a uh, Leopard Rass right here. Uh, this is my, my one true baby. And then you have my Latinatus Fairy Rass. This guy's kind of the, the boss of the Fairy Rasses. So he's great. You have a uh, trio of clowns. I don't know how much longer this trio is going to last, but it's going good so far. Uh, two Mocha Da Vinci's and one bullet hole. And then you have the worst flame angel ever, uh, Peaches. Peaches is an asshole and I hate his guts. And I'm happy that I gave you a girl name. Oh, you going to swim at me? What is up? You guys saw that? Shit. 
And then we have over here my magnificent uh, fox face. This guy's a beauty. Always photobombing me whenever I'm trying to take a photo. Uh, what some of you who follow me may have known is that the blue jaw or blue throat trigger is missing out of here. Uh, he has come down with some type of illness or something. Uh, I think it's maybe affecting his vision. But uh, I've had him in hospital tank, quarantine tank, uh, ran him through a couple different uh, medications and uh, he, he's still eating uh, if I throw in half a clam. He'll eat that, uh, but he's not actually going off after like particulates of food. So we're just waiting that one out. Hopefully he uh, makes it through and then I can add him back to the tank, no problem. Now as I was talking, I forgot to mention this little guy over here, the Gold Minus Blenny. That's his new home. He's decided to upgrade from uh, sitting on the return line. He used to sit on that one over there all the time. And now he sits over there, and I'm much happier because now I can enjoy him. That's it as far as fish goes, and inhabitants, uh, other than the shrimp, I guess I'll count them. I guess they're people too, right? So I guess we'll get into some of the corals and how some of the corals are doing. A couple weeks back, uh, maybe a week, the week of Aquashella, I got a frag pack from a, a local guy here. He... Uh, was offering up an eight frag pack, and he threw in two bonus for me. So I'm not sure of all the names, but I'll try to get them right uh, from memory. Uh, this one is a PC Rainbow. This guy, I have no idea what this one's called. This one over here is gonna be uh, a little bit washed out. That is the pink lemonade. This one up here, you may recognize it. That is the orange passion. Right here, this one is also washed out from this angle. Now this is a Walt Disney. And I believe this one's the Acid Trip Millie. Uh, once again, it's just kind of hard with these uh, with these lights to capture that. This one here, I think is just a, a Red Ruby Stag, I think maybe it's called. And uh, that's encrusting nicely. Over here is a, I think this one is the Jason Fox, Fox Flame. Maybe if I take this off, maybe you can recognize it a little bit more. This one, I have no idea what that little guy is. And then this one looks white, but it actually is supposed to look like that. And it has like yellow, yellow and such on it. So anyways, I don't know the name of that one either, but everything's doing good. Look at the growth on uh, this guy. I don't know the name of this one either, but this thing's absolutely blown up uh, lately. And then my, uh, I'm calling this a green slimer. I'm not entirely convinced it's a green slimer though, uh, but this has been doing pretty good as well. Nice and fluffy. I've unburied some of the acans. They're doing all right. Got a little leather corner over here, followed by some more acans. Two frog spawns in the back. The color is absolutely amazing compared to what it was in the 120, so much happier there. This chalice here was buried, so about half of it's dead. Uh, let's see if it comes back. This chalice here, though, is doing great. This one, if you remember from my uh, Battle Box Corals unboxing, uh, it came with just the tips alive, so it's recovered a lot since then. Just a standard green brain right here, but super happy and uh, it's just a good addition to the tank. Looks nice. Once again, a nice uh, peninsula view. Just imagine once all these things are grown out into colonies. Here's just a, I don't know, a red digi. Also just amazing with growth on here. You can see the different branches forming, uh, the uh, crusting over the rock. You can see a nice coralline there. Uh, so things are going pretty good uh, as far as SPS goes for once. Now I say that and they could all be dead tomorrow. I don't know, but you know, things are going okay so far. And then lastly, I have a nice uh, bushy thing of Duncan's over here that's getting 
uh, blasted in the flow. I just cleaned the uh, gyres this weekend and uh, the flow is definitely uh, significantly greater. You can see there a little bit of a, a new branch kind of forming on there as well as some uh, nice encrusting on there. Well, overall, that's really the uh, tank update. Everything about the tank uh, went pretty fast. Normally, I uh, even though this is pretty slow, this is already like my third video that I'm making out here. It's about like 30 minutes, Jesus. So just a quick update, uh, some more videos uh, upcoming, of course. Um, calcium reactor, some videos on some new fish. I got the new fish order uh, coming. That should be uh, here within the next couple weeks. We're gonna add four more fish to here. Um, and there's a couple other little uh, videos that I want to do, so I'll be, you know, getting those out as I can. As far as Aquashella, went there a couple weeks ago. Uh, you know, overall, the experience was, it was okay. It wasn't what I really thought it was going to be. Uh, I think I went in with it with a little bit of a different expectation or higher expectations based on what I saw in, in some of the videos from uh, Chicago last year. And I don't know, I don't think it really lived up to the hype. Uh, if it wasn't for meeting people, then it uh, probably would have been a huge bust for me. Uh, I got to meet some, some really cool people, some people I watch on YouTube. Uh, so that was cool. As far as, you know, would I go in the future again? Uh, you know, maybe. If it's, if it's in Dallas again, I would probably just drive up for like a Saturday or something and then uh, just do, make it a one day. Uh, you don't need to go both days. You can see everything in a day. So uh, there's nothing special about going both days, but you know, definitely pre-order your tickets because on Saturday they had to turn a whole bunch of people away at the door. So sucks to suck. So just wrapping up guys, uh, aside from the uh, tank, I got my uh, TV mounted up over the fireplace now here. Uh, I did some painting because we're gonna paint actually the whole house. So uh, don't worry about my sloppy blinds. This is all gonna blend in uh, when I get painted. Uh, the cat, she's doing great. She looks very blue right now though. Hey. Seriously? Anyways guys, I'm just dragging on the video now. So with all that said guys, I will, uh, I'll be here uh, getting some more stuff done, uh, wrapping up a few things. We're at a good stage in the tank I think right now where we're, we're kind of slowing down, uh, but uh, it's all for a, a good purpose because we're gonna uh, ramp things back up uh, as, as we get some more uh, equipment in and then we get uh, things kind of cleaned up, I get these doors finished up more fish in here and then look at you know really filling this thing up with corals and then just watching it grow so i will catch you guys in the next one